Hello and welcome to Generic Person 12's and Person Generic 21's review of the Human Centipede 2 full sequence. Back in October of 2010, I did an incredibly crappy review of the first Human Centipede movie. Since I have 100 subscribers, I feel it is only fitting to review the sequel to the first film I reviewed. Technically, you got to the 100 subscriber mark about a month ago. Don't be a dick. Don't blame me for pointing out the obvious. You're a lazy bastard. Anyways, I feel like 100 subscribers is pretty decent, especially considering the fact that I am very inconsistent at putting out reviews. Yeah, but doesn't your friend have like 7 times as many subscribers and you've actually been on YouTube for longer than him? Who's that? Hello everyone, this is Guy. Why the hell is he here? You told me I'm the only one you'd ever do reviews with. Well, you see, Generic Person 12 helped me review Ice Hockey for the Atari 2600, and I decided in return I would help him review Human Centipede 2. Well, what can he contribute to this review that I can't? Well, it would be nice to do a review with someone who isn't legally retarded. Uh, I'm Minlo Guy and I like video games because I have no life. Yeah, well, hi everyone, I'm Person Generic 21 and I have a small penis. Well, technically after the incident in my last review and the surgeries that followed, I think it's safe to say that Person Generic 21 doesn't have a penis anymore. Yeah, I pee out of a tube now. Hey, uh, speaking of fluids, can you go get me a glass of water? My throat is, as they say, rather parched. Why do I always have to do this shit? Because you don't have a penis. Okay. If you're gonna review this movie with me, Nintendo Guy, you should probably watch the first one, just so it all makes sense. But I already watched the first film. So, what did you think of it? Honestly, in my personal opinion, I thought the film wasn't that good. Sure, some of the acting was somewhat humorous, especially when you're watching it with another person, and the story had some really suspenseful moments that just put you on the edge of your seat. Like, for example, the stair climbing scene. But overall, the idea of the film is kind of stupid. It's certainly not the worst film I've ever seen, but with that said, I'll give the first Human Centipede a 5 out of 10. Yeah, looking back, I don't think the first film is as good as I had initially thought. Even though it was kind of funny, it has literally zero rewatch value. Originally, I gave it a 7 out of 10, but now I feel it is more deserving of a 6 out of 10. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the second film. Like the first film, The Human Centipede 2 was written and directed by Tom Six, who makes Michael Bay look like a cinematic genius. The main character in this film is actually the antagonist. His name is Martin and he is a fat middle-aged sadist that still lives with his mother and he has a fetish for centipedes. He was sexually abused by his father when he was a child and as a result is mentally disturbed. He pretty much just works the night shift at an underground parking lot as a security guard. So he's kind of like a twisted version of Paul Blart. Well, for me, I'd say he looks kind of like Dr. Robotnik from the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Just make him bald and give him a mustache and here you go. He also kind of reminds me of a fat rodent. You could also say that he looks like Morshu the shopkeeper. Or Peter Griffin. Humpty Dumpty, perhaps? I don't know why, but his facial expressions sort of remind me of Bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. You know what? Just to make it simple, let's just call him a fat piece of shit. Yeah, you're right. The fat piece of shit has an asthma attack like every five minutes. This happens when he's beating people, going upstairs, breaking into a car, shooting a gun, having sex, driving, and so on. Yeah, it is pretty funny. He also has a tendency to defecate in his pants, which also makes for some pretty hilarious moments. There's a scene at the beginning of the film where the fat piece of shit tries to shoot a pissed off Brit in the foot. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because when he shoots him in the foot, a lack of blood shoots out, making the effects very unrealistic. But it's not just the foot, even the headshots are unrealistic. Well, the movie was advertised as being 100% medically inaccurate, so what can you expect? Anyways, at one point, the fat piece of shit literally shits himself while he is sleeping. He wakes up and we get to see him in his underwear, which might be the most disturbing scene in the movie. The doctor comes over for a visit because the mother is concerned about her son. However, the doctor in this movie kind of reminds me of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, he does have an epic homeless pedophile drug addict beard, and he's a bit of a dipshit. When the mother mentions that Lardball has talked about making a centipede out of 12 people, 
he takes it as a metaphor and says that it is a passing phase. Also, he sort of sexually harasses the fat piece of shit. Dr. Nick would actually make a better psychologist. The fat piece of shit doesn't really have a lot of dialogue. I mean, his first line is, eee! Yeah, that's pretty much the most interesting thing he has to say. Anyways, he tries to learn the medical procedure from the first film, which he is obsessed with. Look, I'm sorry, but it really bothered me when there was a mentioning of the first Human Centipede movie every 15 minutes. Not only is it breaking the fourth wall, but it just felt like Tom Six was trying to shove in shameless promoting of the first film just so he can make a quick buck. These sequences jump from being funny to annoying just because of how often they occur. The movie is ridiculously self-indulgent. It sort of feels like it is trying to do what Wes Craven's New Nightmare did, except that movie was actually good. Seriously though, there is even a scene where the fat piece of shit actually masturbates to the shitting scene from the first movie. I mean, come on, what the hell, Tom Six? Yeah, moving on. Eventually, the fat piece of shit kills the owner of the warehouse so that he has somewhere to put the people that he has kidnapped from the underground parking lot so he can use them to make a human centipede. It does beg the question though, if people keep dying and going missing at the same location, you would think somebody would realize that it's the mentally unstable security guard who has access to all of the security cameras. The mother tries to kill her fat piece of shit, but she fails at doing so. She then finds a notebook that has a lot of shameless promoting of the first film, and Fat Boy gets pissed off and eventually kills her. After that, he starts having dinner with the hilarious, unrealistic dead corpse. Hey, yo, uh, what was I supposed to do again? Get me a glass of water. So, I have a glass. Good, good. Now fill it with water. Okay. Anyways, in another instance of very shameless self-promoting, the fat tub of fuck watches a scene from the first movie while doing some sort of weird sand person dance. Then he shits himself. There's a really retarded scene where the flabby fuckhead chases this hooker up the stairs while having an asthma attack. The hooker pepper sprays him in the face and instead of running away like a normal human being, she just sits there like a damsel in distress. The chubby jar of mayonnaise also manages to get one of the lead actresses from the first film to fly to London by claiming he's going to take her to an audition for a Quentin Tarantino film. While he's driving her to her supposed audition and having an asthma attack, she says she thought the first movie was scary because a surgeon could actually do the procedure from the film which is dumb. As you'd expect, he kidnaps her to be part of his human centipede. I will point out that one of the victims that the bloated ball sack has is a pregnant woman. I'm gonna say this right now, that the thought of using a pregnant woman as a test subject for an experiment is really fucked up. Anyways, the fat, obese, tubby, asthmatic, uh... God damn it, I'm out of ideas! Hooray, I won! Fuck you. Anyways, fat ass knocks out all of the victims he's kidnapped so that he can begin the procedure. It's kind of stupid because a hit to the head that knocks you out for any length of time would probably do way more damage than what they show in the film, but again, I guess it isn't supposed to be realistic. This scene I'm about to mention is probably the most disturbing scene in the whole movie, besides the scene of him in his underwear. The inflated McDonald's dumpster rips the teeth out of his victims with a hammer, cuts out the kneecaps, tears the tongue out of the actress, and rips the ass cheeks out of the victims. After he assembles them together with staples and duct tape, he encourages them to shit by giving them laxatives and making fart sounds by blowing raspberries. While they are shitting at ridiculous speeds, the bubbly ball of gas stands there and does the most retarded laugh possible. At this point, it's worth mentioning that he is basically just in his underwear while all of this is happening. Also, while the chain shit is happening, shit actually lands on the camera. Thank god the movie isn't in 3D. Also, I can't believe I'm saying this, but he fucks the centipede. Anyways, as you'd expect, duct tape and staples aren't completely infallible, and the centipede breaks in half. Just like the classic arcade game called Centipede, if you shoot the centipede, it breaks in half. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying... Centipede was released for the arcades in 1980 by Atari. The game is a basic shooter, and it became so popular that Atari released a home console version for the Atari 2600 in 1982. I love the Atari 2600 version so much because... God damn it, Nintendo guy! Oh, come on! This game is ten times better than this film! Whatever. Anyways, overall, I think that Human Centipede 2 represents a 
drop-off in entertainment value from the first film. It's hard to call a movie bad when it is intentionally bad, but to be perfectly honest, it's a bad movie. The movie does have an interesting dreamlike atmosphere, and the gore is really well done, but in general, it's a bad film. The acting is terrible, which provides some humor, but it also weakens the impact of the film. As there are more victims, each gets less screen time than the victims in the first movie, so you don't find out as much about them, though this isn't the kind of movie where you can really critique it for character development. For my opinion on this film, I didn't like it. The first film was focused on storyline and suspense, while the sequel had very little storyline and mostly focused on disturbing people, which really had no point. For me, the first movie was better, but still, that's not really saying a lot. Hell, even the South Park episode about the human sentai pad is better than any of these films. The only real way you can get more entertainment value out of any of these films is by watching it with another person. Simply because you and your friend can share jokes about the cheesy acting. There's downsides like the repetitive shameless promoting of the first film, and there's moments where it seems like the flashbacks are happening, but really, there isn't. It's just the crappy editing. Overall, I give Human Centipede 2 a 4 out of 10. I guess I'd give this film a 5 out of 10. Anyways, where is my damn glass of water? Uh, sorry, but I forgot. What is it you wanted me to do with this glass? Fill it with water. Okay, how do I do that again? You put it under the tap, and you turn the tap on. Oh, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Do I still need the glass for that? God damn it, this review is over. Check out Nintendo Guy's channel for awesome video game reviews, speedruns, and other video game related content, but god damn it, I can't take this anymore. Also, myself and Generic Person 12 run this YouTube channel called The Gaming Comrades. It's basically a Let's Play channel where we do commentaries for a whole bunch of different types of video games from past to present. Why is it that I don't get to do Let's Plays with you? You ate my fucking Super Nintendo controller. Well, yeah, it was pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Generic Person 12. And Nintendo Guy saying, Fuck you! But that's not my line!